you've probably heard about shadow work, but have you heard about the light shadow? Hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com and if you're new to this channel and you are wanting to start a practice of witchcraft or wicca, hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss anything. This video is about shadow work, but it's about the light shadow. We talk about the dark shadow and the light shadow only because the word shadow simply means something you can't see. It's in the shadows. You can't see it. That's all it means. It just means you can't see it. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean it's evil. It is simply you can't see it. So it's called shadow. When we talk about doing shadow work, we're really talking about shining a light. So then the shadow actually disappears and you start to see everything. And the dark shadow, we associate with the dark because it is those parts of ourselves that we deliberately hide away in the shadow realms because as a child, we learned very, very quickly from the adults around us and from the culture around us, religion around us, schooling, all of that, that some of these, these qualities that we were, were exhibiting, behaviors that we were exhibiting were unacceptable and often deemed to be um, often shamed and we were shamed into not being like that. And the idea of shadow work is to go back into that dungeon that all these things are being locked away and bring them back out into the light so that we can actually see what the gift may be contained in that and turn it from being a, a negative thing um, or a harmful thing into being something that's actually useful and positive. The light shadow is simply a name given to the qualities that we admire or that we like in our culture. But they're qualities that you may feel that you don't have or you wish you had. And the way you know what your light shadow qualities are is that you will see them in other people. Much the same as you see the, the negative, the, the dark shadow qualities in other people. You'll also see the light shadow qualities in other people and these are the people you admire these are the people that you look up to these are the people that you may want to be like um, particularly when you were younger as a child or a teenager these are people that you see as having something you don't have in regards to quality so they might be very outgoing they might be very charismatic they might um, have certain things there may be aspects of their personality that you feel that you could just never be and you just wish you could. What those people are actually showing you is yourself. It's the qualities about yourself that you haven't again allowed yourself to express or be because for some reason those qualities or the way you express them were not allowed when you were growing up. For some weird reason you picked up the idea that you couldn't do that or you couldn't be like that. Um, you might have got labelled as being somebody who was very quiet or you're so quiet. I got that a lot um, in my childhood because I was quiet. I was very shy, I had severe social anxiety and it was really scary being, I was afraid of people when I was a child. And I used to hear all the time, you're so quiet, you're so quiet, you're so quiet. And it became something that I really hated about myself. So again, that's more of a dark shadow, not so much a dark shadow, but that's something I put in the shadow. It's, a, it's an aspect or a quality within oneself that we don't like because other people keep telling us about it and referring to it in a way that seems to be odd. With your light shadow, that kind of can happen too. So you might think that you're, you're not a charismatic person because for some reason you got the message as a child that to, to be like that was either you'd be a show off or you, you love yourself, um, you know, don't toot your own horn, or who do you think you are? All of those messages you may have got as a child when you were exhibiting those aspects of yourself. And for some reason you bottled it away. And then later you see that in somebody that you admire and you think, oh, I wish I could be like that. I wish I, you know, I really admire that. I wish that I could be just like that. They, those people are showing you what you, your potential is. They're showing you that you can be like that in some way, shape or form. You might not be doing exactly what they're doing, but you may be exhibiting those qualities that you're attracted to in, you might be able to use those in other aspects of your life. And when we hold people up on pedestals and we, we're looking to other people as role models, we're actually looking at our own potential. 
So if you do have someone you look up to, if you have somebody you, you admire, name three qualities of that person that you admire about them the most. And those three qualities are qualities you have. And you may not think you have them, but you do. And they're aspects of yourself that you can then work towards cultivating by working on the reasons why you don't feel comfortable exhibiting those aspects of yourself. So that's another aspect of shadow work, which is something I'm very passionate about. And I do work with people one-to-one -one with shadow work. If you're feeling stuck, you've done a lot of work yourself perhaps, you might have done a lot of self-help stuff, a lot of self-development stuff, or a lot of shadow work, but you're still feeling stuck and it's really causing you grief in your life. You, you realize that it's actually stopping you from achieving what it is you want to achieve or being able to have the happiness that you want to have, then do book a 20 minute clarity session with me and we can talk about that and talk about working together if that's a fit for you. So do take advantage of that 20 minutes. The link to booking a 20 minute call with me, it will be online, it'll be on Skype or Zoom. And um, so we can have a chat. That link will be in the description field uh, below this video. And even though it's a 20 minute um, consultation, the booking will actually give you a whole hour. So don't be phased by that. Um, it's just that's how I do my bookings because when I work with people one-to-one -one, when I'm working with them I usually do hour set hour long sessions um, But it only needs to take 20 minutes because um, I know you're busy and you've got things to do so do take advantage of that and um, That is to help you work with those parts of yourself that are stuck So that's shadow work. I'll see you on the next video. Blessed be mm -hmm.